chérie, mon frère, ma soeur, c'est toi tu payes. If you want to know how I color graded this music viral video, watch this. Hello guys, so this is my DaVinci Resolve project. The name of the song is Ngori. It's out now on YouTube by Creo, an artist who's based in Gabon. So, uh, under my color management, the uh, timeline color space was DaVinci White Gamut, DaVinci Intermediate, uh, Rec 709 for output. So here are my shots, 168 shots. As you can see here, uh, what I did was I actually created groups. As you can see here, every scene has a different group. Jail scene, you can see that. Car. So I did this because I wanted to be able to be consistent with my color grading. And also I wanted to be able to be, you know, really quick and very efficient and not waste time on color grading a shot. So what I did is under a particular group, for example, this group, if you come to clip, you're going to see where I put my CST in. And this is my CST in, this is my noise reduction, my CST in. And yeah, I did uh, rec white gamut rec lock dg10 and output was davinci white gamma davinci intermediate and then my output is under the post the group post clip and this is right where my output is and you can see my cst output input is davinci white gamma again davinci intermediate i believe most of you already know how i convert my images and why i work in davinci white gamma space you know so if you don't know watch my other tutorials i pretty much explain it there or i could do another tutorial if you want for you just to explain you my workflow about that so the output color space is rec 709 and output gamma is rec 709a so I did this because I'm using the Dienza plugin and this is where I really, you know, went in to choose the film stock to use. In this scene, I used Cinesteel 800T. You know, you have a lot of other film stocks to play with. Dienza is a plugin. I think it's, it was created sometime around 2020. It's a plugin for DaVinci Resolve. It's actually uh, not really expensive, but it's good because it really gives you some good film stocks to play with that could simulate, uh, you know, the film looks and all that and i'm not doing promotion for them i'm just saying this because i think it's a good plugin for you i'll put a link on the box below so you can go ahead and purchase one for yourself if you want and maybe i'll also do a tutorial just on how i'm using the enhancer so you could follow along and then you know watch out for that tutorial i'll bring it up on my youtube page yeah after my CST, I place my uh, Dienza, like I told you. This is what I get. After applying Dienza plugin, this is what I get. So normally, uh, I know I've done so adjustment on this Dienza plugin. But then, just let me just walk you through on the basic workflow. So basically, what I do is, I first of all try to balance the image, you know, like, taking out the yellows I'm seeing in the image. And nextly, I try to also come to the clip and then balance the exposure. So basically what I'm doing is that I'm working on clip and group at the same time. So on this group post clip page, I'm actually working on colors that will affect or effects that will affect the image on a global level like things that i can add on one image that can basically affect all the other images or all the other shots you get it and then on this clip i actually work on just things that will affect just this shot hope you understand so that that way i could be able to for example if i want to do like contrast for all of them i will not just come and start doing contrast for each shot i'll just come over here under the group post clip and then i'll work on my contrast and once i'm done with the contrast it's going to affect every shot under this group you see and then if i want to add maybe contrast on this image 
just on this particular image i could come over here or if i want to reduce it i could come over the clip and then i'll just quickly reduce the contrast on this clip alone without necessarily reducing the contrast on the other clips hope that's understood after the exposure like just the exposure balance because basically there are two kinds of balance you have to create the first one has to be exposure balance the second one has to be color balance so i did the color balance which was let's say this is off the color balance was this so you see the warm i now did color balance and then i came over to the clip and then i did exposure balance so look i'm not doing the exposure balance under the uh, group post clip because i know the exposure will be different in different shots so i'll do exposure balance on each clip differently that way i'll be able to adjust and fine tune the exposure of each clip differently okay let's move ahead so the next thing i did was to add um, a, a look kind of like a look and i used a plugin called dctl dctl i think it means digital color transform language it's a plugin that helps you like really shift your colors to um, different use without breaking the image i mean you could do it with the hsl panel but then dctl has a way of doing it that i can't really explain but it's kind of it fine tunes it and i feel i think i like it and that's why i'm using it i also put a link for some free dctls that you can try and also i will probably do a tutorial on how to use dctl and all that yeah so i use dctl and i use the tentra plugin on that dctl and i shifted the uh, white towards the bluish side and then probably added some warm like i said i'll show you how to use this i basically just added some looks you know adding some more cool tones and some more warm tones mixed together and then the next thing i did was to select the skin and under the skin i selected the skin after my contrast note and under the skin i placed the plugin called color compressor and i select this tool and highlight on maybe a cool part of the skin that i like and i worked on these um controls here i think i did a tutorial before on how to use this tool yeah so i actually just basically work on the skin and make sure the skin pops out pretty much nicely and then remember i'm doing this under the group post clip so it affects all the other shots in this scene so all the skin actually looks the same and i discovered that when i color grade like this it actually helps to to keep my color grading very consistent from one shot to another and that's how i got this look i went around and played with some you know some of these tools you know i can't go into this now but on this scene it was the same thing pretty much the same thing you know you see this is my contrast here and this is my skin and i just selected the skin and worked on the skin with the color compressor this way i did my balance you know just brought in some warm tones also i used um yeah i think i used the hsl yeah because i wanted to really fine tune some use so i use the hsl here like to just bring up the warm so if you see this before after like i just brought up this skin tone color on the skin tone line you know so it, it looks good and great and then i think i used a log wheel here yes i used the log wheel here just to add some maybe some red into the shadows just a little bit and i worked on the range too you know maybe you can see under the shadow here if i take this out just look here okay do you see how i don't know if youtube will let you see this but do you see the difference so is this little 
changes that make um, your colors pop, you know, when you're color grading. Don't think of doing too much and all that. No, 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 no. It won't help you. Just do it gradually. Go to your look, but then go there gradually. Push your, your, your effects gradually, your tools. Use them wisely, you know break down the way you want your film to look before you start color grading like get inspirations from from other uh, videos and all that and then decide how you want your video to look before you start color grading so that it really directs you when you're color grading you don't waste too much time so you can see this shot and then finally i use the dctl again but this time around this DCTL is different, it's called sub subtract something. It's more about subtracting colors or adding colors. So this DCTL, I used it to just pop out the cyan a little bit more. Like you can see, um, let me show you something. Take a close look at this color. Like if I take this out, you see that? If I take this in, do you see what's happening? So I just added some cyan color to this just to make it rich. And even if you see here, yeah, it's gonna change. You see that? So added some cyan color and then added like overall saturation. It does it does it very nicely and smoothly in such a way that you will not even realize you have added you know a color better it's there which is why i like the dctl plugins and then i selected the skin after the contrast i just discovered that anytime i select the skin after the contrast it actually stands out very well so i like to do it this way so i selected the skin like just immediately after the contrast i selected the skin and then i added the saturation a little bit you know worked with the color compressor and then probably finish with some settings in the Dienza and I was done. So this is how I color graded this video. I used the same technique for all the other scenes and yes I used different film stocks but then like I said we're gonna do that in another tutorial. So thank you for watching. I hope you understood something. Definitely if you understood something, share this video to others so they could learn. And I'm going to be coming up with more tutorials for you. Just um, enjoy this, share this with your friends, and let's take another shot. Okay. <laughs>